All right, how's everybody doing? In my last video, I did a little bit of a buying guide for getting yourself a uh, Vitamix 3600 or a 4000. And uh, I mentioned that uh, there are some housekeeping procedures for these motor bases and the container even. And that was a surprise to me because the commercial 4000 I have uh, in the back here has came with a versatile Vitamix cookbook and it uh, is very detailed with how the machine operates and how to use it but uh, it doesn't go into it doesn't mention anything about maintenance procedures but this one that I I got came with the books with the recipe book that actually does explain some maintenance procedures to do with these now this is decades old this is like just 1983 early 1980s model and um, it's been running for who knows how long. It still works excellently, and it's definitely gonna still last for a long time. But I want to do the maintenance procedures just so I can get as long as life as possible for these because uh, they don't make parts for these anymore. And uh, I just want it to, to run smooth and the best that I can. So it doesn't hurt to do these procedures in a very easy, it's nothing strenuous or complicated, but uh, to video the procedures is going to be very difficult um, because it's, it's, uh, the lighting is going to be very bad. So I'm going to do my best to show you. But basically all we're going to do is lubricate the two bearings in the motor at the top and the bottom. Okay, I'm going to do the, uh, the container, container bearing. And the, the instructions say to use a number 20 oil and... I am assuming that's going to be some sort of like a, like a machine oil and you can probably use what's called three-in-one oil and if you don't know what that is it's just this three-in-one it's like a multi-purpose machine oil that you can buy at any hardware store like Lowe's a Home Depot or even a smaller hardware store and uh, it should work just fine and um, what I'm going to use is uh, this triflow industrial lubricant and that has uh, and that has what's uh, called PTFE it's uh, kind of like a liquid Teflon and although this oil is very thin and it penetrates a tight uh, clearances very easily the PTFE is gonna have like a layer that kind of stays there so that uh, even if the oil kind of runs out the PTFE is gonna leave like a nice uh, protective film on there so that it doesn't have any friction for the bearing. So that's what I'm going to use and it's going to be very easy to do these procedures and to do the motor base which we're going to start out first you're going to see where the fan is you see the fan blades inside the cage here and there's going to be the motor shaft and you're going to see the shaft go into the top plate and it's like a little cone there in, the order, in order to get the oil to go in the bearing that's up in here, we're going to have to turn the motor base upside down. Okay. I hope I'm not really flashing everybody with the light. I'm trying to do my best. Well, here's another flashlight. Uh, there it is. Okay. You can kind of see in there. That's where we have to lubricate. So I'm just going to get my flow which I have to shake up and we're just gonna get this straw here and get inside and just give it a little bit of a spurt you don't want to spray too much you just want some you just want it to kind of crawl in there okay you really want just a couple of drops. You don't want to go too crazy with it. And by putting, leaving the motor upside down, just leave it upside down for an hour. But this is such a thin oil that I don't really need to do it for that long. But just leave it upside down so the oil just travels down towards the bearing. Now the other bearing is going to be in here, and that's going to be another one that's hard to look because you can't really see through this plate very well. I'm going to try and see if I can kind of get a good view of it. And that's probably the 
best view. Trying to get a really good view for you guys, but that's going to be almost impossible. I mean, it's like right there. It's like right, right in between these two spots where the flashlight is. You're going to see the, um, the other end of the motor shaft. So I'm just going to hit that with a little bit of the lube. Even then it's kind of tough to get to. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit it with a little bit of my tri-flow. You can see I'm really just barely squeezing it because that's all I want is about a drop or two. You can probably see just a little bit where that where that is. Yeah, you can see right there that's it's lit up now. That's where the bearing is. It looks like a little bronze piece. And if you're really unsure what the motor shaft is if you just spin the uh, the op the the opposite hand here by hand and look inside while you uh, have the flashlight you can actually see it move and that's exactly where you need to hit it with the with the oil and you don't want to over lubricate it you just want to have a drop or two go in there and just kind of keep the baron uh, alive basically and that's all you have to do that's that's the maintenance procedures for it you just kind of let it stay on upside down for a little while if you use a light lightweight oil like I just did it's gonna take about just a few minutes upside down to seep into the bearing and uh, do its magic and for the container the container is a very important tip to tell you and that is not to put any oil in this end don't do it do not do that. You're just going to contaminate your food. We need to oil this end here. And we need to hit the baron with oil in between this rubber coupler. And if you have a 12 point socket, this is going to be all metal. But you just want to get in the back of this coupler and in front of the spline. You want to get right in between there. Okay, so just because this kind of moves in and out a little bit, you want to kind of get it out as far as you can. And we're just going to hit that with a drop or two of oil. Uh, come on. Let that crawl in there. Okay, that's all we need. And we're just going to work that in by spinning the blades a little bit. And you'll feel it actually get in there because it'll just start spinning like like smooth as butter oh yeah that feels real good because this oil is very thin you probably you want to leave it upside down for about a minute or two if you use a thicker oil probably just a little bit longer but uh, you don't want to leave it like this for too long with that with the oil like that because you don't want it to seep too far down I don't think it'll actually go that that far down if you use such a small quantity but if you if you over lubricate it you could possibly contaminate your your food and you don't want to do that if you over oil it just uh, let it stay for a minute or two let it lubricate and then just flip it back around and clean up your mess and it'll still be well lubricated so that's actually it for procedures and lubricating your motor base and the container. This should be okay to go. This feels pretty good actually. Alright, really that's it. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.